And now let's go and go into the last one, which is my favorite, which I think all students should aspire to. But again, like I mentioned, guys, if you get stuck or whatever else, like you can always, you know, refer back to these. Don't get super stuck with um, trying to factor in your head. But I do want to go through my process, my thought process when I'm looking at a problem like this to see, hey, can I factor this? Or is it factorable um, across integers? So what you're going to want to do is what I always like to do on a problem like this is I like to say, all right, this can be broken down into a product of two factors, right? So 4x times x, right? Or we could do a 2x. Um, let's actually, let me move this over. Okay, and then we'll go from here. So I'll do a 2x times an x. Okay, all right. Now again, we already know the answer, so we don't wanna cheat. So let's pretend we don't know the answer. Um, now, what I wanna do is think about my factors for 15. Now, again, this is a negative 15, right? So the reason why I bring that up is because that's a negative 15. What we're doing is we're looking for, um, we're going to want to be finding the difference of our two products. And the difference of the two products I'm talking about is these two products, the inner and the outer. So that the difference of the two products needs to add to give us a negative four. So here's where things are going to get mixed eight. I don't want to multiply a four times a 15. Like I don't want to do a 15 times negative one. Like that's not going to work. Actually, let me do this as like a red. That's not going to work. And the reason why it's going to work is four times 15 is 60. X times one is a negative one, right? So 60 and one, that's a difference of 59. I need to get to difference of four. All right. So that's not going to work now. And again, I'm not even worried about the negative here in a second, but let's even look at like a difference of, well, let's do one and 15. Okay. So let's do a positive one, negative 15. Again, four X times X, four X times one is one. 15 times X is a negative 15. That's a difference of negative 11. That's not going to work. Okay. So then let's go ahead and do the four X's, you know, the 15 and ones, this is not working out, right? So now let's go ahead and try another one. Well, how about we do four X and X. And again, you could do the same thing in here. I'm just going to kind of leave this so you guys can see my, the work and my thought process. What about 15 and three? So if I did like, let's say a five and a negative three, and again, I'm just like guessing and checking kind of in my head. Well, four times five is 20, right? And three times X is three, 20 and three is going to have a difference of 17 not even close. Right. And what about if I just switch these over? What if I just made this a three and this a five? Now in this case, let's say that's a minus five. This would be four times three is 12, right? And negative five times X is going to be our negative five times one would be seven or be five. So the difference of five and 12 and five would be a seven pretty close. But again, we're not getting anywhere. It doesn't matter how I move this around. It's not going to work. So this is not going to work, right? So this does not work as well. Thing. So now what I'm doing is I'm thinking in my head, all right, two X again. Now, do I want to use a 15 again? Do I want to go to a 15 and you know, a one and no, that's not going to work, right? Two times 15 is 30. All right. And then negative 30. And then one times X is a one. That's a negative 29. Like that's not going to work. So you say, all right, well, what about a two X and an X, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a two X and a two X, right? Make sure you get that in there. So that should be a two X and a two X. You say, all right, well then Let's think about this. What do I want to multiply? What do I want to be negative, right? So if I did 2x times a 5, that would be a negative 10. And then if I did 2x times 3, that'd give me a 6, right? Well, if I want to get to negative 4, I want to do 2x times a negative 5, right? Because I want that to be a negative 10. I'm saying that. So 2x minus 5. And then if I want this 2x to be plus 3. And again, guys, even like you do this guess and check, right? Always go back and check your work. Like you can do this in your head or you can think about it here. 2x times 2x is going to be a 4x squared, right? 3 times negative 5 is going to be a negative 15, right? What we're doing or what I was doing in my head is I was doing these two. 3 times 2x is going to be a positive 6x. 2x times negative 5 is a negative 10x, right? These combine to give me a negative 4x. So the more practice that you guys get, the faster and easier it's going to become. But again, guys, don't worry if this is a struggle for you or if it feels like it's even taking too long for you to do it in your head. You can always fall back on and rely on these older methods, the box method or the grouping method using the AC method to help you with your factoring. I hope the video was helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Cheers.